hi everyone today we'll see a program on on the demonstration of a do while loop so this program you can find it in uh, Kerningan and Ritchie's book it comes under chapter 3.6 so we'll see what kind of logic CS used and uh, we'll go through this logic using an input here so the input here I take is minus one two three four which is an integer and my goal is to convert this integer into a stream of ASCII characters so this is my main function which will convert the integer to ASCII so here I record the sign value of this number so this is a negative number so I check whether n is less than 0 if n is going to be less than 0 I record the sign in the variable called sign and I make the value of n to be positive so here sign will have n the initial value of n which is 1 2 3 4 okay and here I make n to be positive minus of minus is positive minus into minus okay here I have a counter which is set as 0 and uh, this is my array where I will have my result so what is n mod 10 n mod 10 you know that modulo operator returns the remainder so 1 2 3 4 mod 10 will give you 4 so you have extracted the last digit from this integer 1 2 3 4 if you do it one more time or if you want to extract 3 from it you give 1 2 3 not 10 will get you 3 so we have extracted 3 sorry 4 at this point of time and we have saved it in s of 0 so we have 4 and in the while loop we are doing n is equal to n by 10 we are modifying the value of n itself so 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 will get you the quotient so 4 is discarded here so this gets you 1 2 3 and n's value is updated as 1 2 3 is 1 2 3 greater than 0 yes so we go back again to this loop and 1 2 3 mod 10 what is 1 2 3 mod 10 is 3 so the last digit from n is extracted similarly this loop runs for two more times and you get 2 1 and finally he come out of this do while loop as you can see the do while loop is executed once before even coming to this condition and here we check the original value of n which is recorded in sign so we are checking minus one two three four is it less than zero yes of course so what we do is 
we record this minus sign this character right this ascii character is recorded here because here s is a character array and since we have incremented here i's value will be 5 and this is a null character every string should be delimited by a null character so here we put the null character so imagine if I want to print this string what will I get I'll be getting 4 3 2 1 minus and a null character which is invisible to the user but this is not the output I wanted so I send the string the pointer of the first character to a function called reverse so the name itself tells you that it will reverse the string in place so it doesn't use uh, an extra string variable so it uses a swap logic to swap the contents of the string and your output becomes minus one two three four string so these are the string output so final output is minus one two three four string so what was our input it was one two three four minus one two three four which had a value because it is an it was an integer now it doesn't have the numeric value but it is it has become a string example of strings are hello which doesn't have any numeric value I hope you understood this session we'll be meeting in the